So you guys, Dan Rees here from Zebrano Woodcraft. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these awesome wood wrapped hip blasts. Alright! So I've got the hip flask. Um, I'm just going to measure around the outside circumference so I can kind of estimate how much wood I need to cut. I think I'll need, I mean it's 21 and a half. So if I take 22 centimeters of wood and then uh, I've got a bit of room for error. The flask is also just under 12.5 centimeters. So I'll, I'll just cut 12.5 centimeters of wood and then I've, again I've got a bit of room to play with. I've got this big old scrap sheet of walnut. This kind of little section here looks really nice. I think the, the grain looks really pretty there. So I'm going to cut this now with one of these knives. Um, I'm going to try not to break the, the veneer that's already cracked a bit here. But hopefully it should be okay. I think we can cover that up. So I'll just go ahead and cut this now. Just cut it really carefully. It's this cross cut which is the hard part. It tends to snap off a little bit. I've actually cut this a bit bigger as well. I've cut this at like 23 centimeters. Light passes. Really light passes for this. Done. Yep, so I've liberated this nice little piece of walnut. Now we'll just take this over to the bench sander. So I'm just going to sand like these edges down so that it's not like flat and square, I'm basically going to like taper it out um, on the bench sander. Uh, make sure that when it kind of wraps and overlaps, they'll kind of do it nicely. A bit like what they do with the kind of like pantry boxes and bendwood rings. Just turn this all off. Yeah, I sanded the edges down so they're paper thin. It's broken a little bit. But I think that it should be okay because because I cut a little bit of extra wood. So what I'm going to do next is I've just got this pan here of uh, boiling water. And I'm just going to set this piece of walnut into the boiling water for about an hour, maybe two hours. And then we can take it out and form it. Excuse me. Alright, I actually cheated. And I started again with another piece of walnut that wasn't cracked. It's been in here probably for about an hour. So I'm just going to take it out now and I'll try and form it. So what I'll do is I'll just wrap it around the hip flask. Put some of this masking tape around um, just so that it kind of conforms to the shape that I want it to. So let's give this a go. Wrap this around there. Take this really slowly. Super, super, super slow. I'm just keeping pressure on the the seam here just to make sure it doesn't split or anything just to hold it down so I just want to get this nice and tight oops I think I split a bit of the wood there ah, ah look at this snapped off doesn't matter that that around there hopefully when we glue this up anyway all this this won't happen basically, or we'll, we'll glue it back together so tight that it won't be an issue. Right, so now this hopefully should all sort of like dry roughly to shape, and so when I go to glue it up, it won't kind of be um, too hard and it'll kind of all stick together really nicely. Alright, this is all dry now. Um, I've just taken the walnut out of the water, split a little bit, but we'll just see what happens when we glue it up. Uh, just using some of this serious glue. Uh, this is repositionable uh, for a couple of minutes. Gonna try and cover up every little bit of every bit of surface. Over there. Hopefully this works. Push it on. Push it on. Push it on. 
actual gotta make sure everything wasn't tight. Now we play the waiting game for a minute. Just clear it up the next stage. I've run out of serious glue. I'm actually going to use some CA glue to do the last part. Just use a thick CA. Probably don't run out of glue if you try to do this. I think this has worked. So just gonna hold it down for a minute like this. We'll soon find out. It was glued. Let's just fill in some of these gaps with some CA. Just gonna take a little uh, cloth and rub away any excess. I didn't want to put too much CA on here because uh, it might affect the way the finish looks. Right, we're all glued up now. So I'm just going to go ahead with this uh, craft knife. I'm just going to cut the, the edges off. Just clean it all up. Hopefully we can sand it off and give it a finish. Do little by little. So there's one side done. Take an idea so I'm going to glue this back down. So we're all glued up, it's all on there. I've trimmed off the edges, not the prettiest. I messed up a little bit there, but you know, what can you do? Uh, I'll just go over now, I'll just sand, sand it up. I'm just going to use um, some 240 grit, 320, and then 400. Wipe it off. Uh, shall I put a pyrography design on there? Would it be a Zebrano Woodcraft video if I didn't? <laughs> I don't think so. Let's put the... I'll just put a Zebrano Woodcraft logo on there. This is my hip flask. I'm doing it for myself. Sexy logo on there. Let's get the pyrography tool out. This is up on 650. So there's a brown woodcraft logo on. To finish him off, I am going to... I was going to use like a membrane finish. I was thinking about maybe even the CA finishing. Um, but it will just take so long to apply it all. It will be so fiddly. Uh, so what I thought is, um, because it will like, be going in and out of my pocket, you know, run festivals and a membrane finish, like a shellac or a CA finish, will chip off quite a lot. So I just thought I'll just um, stick with a simple uh, oil finish. So I'm just going to go with a bit of uh, tongue oil. Uh, whip a bit of tongue oil in the, on there. Uh, maybe I can hit it with a bit of uh, wax afterwards as well. But this should really make the grain prop uh, and offer a little bit of protection anyway. Um, so let's have a look. It's for indoor wooden surfaces. I'm just going to live in my pocket so let's give it a wash. Wipe it on. Alright, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea, I'm going to come back, we're going to wax this up, and then take some photos and have a drink. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright! project turned out pretty cool in the end. I'm quite happy with the way that this worked out. Looks awesome from the front. There's a, the seam looks okay. I've got like one or two little cracks for where you can see right through the metal. You could always fill those up with um, you know, some furniture wax or something. Uh, something just to fill the gaps in. If I were to do the project again, I would use enough serious glue. <laughs> stock up on enough serious glue to finish the project. It works a bit better than the CA. 
as the CA glue, the super glue tends to bloom a little bit and can just look a little bit ugly. But apart from that, it's a cool little thing to make. You can make them as gifts or maybe you just want something cool for yourself. Um, I'll probably be taking this around gigs and festivals and things. Um, so, yeah, cool little project. If you like it, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, maybe subscribe if you want to see more vids. And, uh, yeah, leave feedback if you make one. Leave me a picture. Send me a picture. I'd love to see your work. Uh, thanks for watching uh, and have a good time. Safe.